Morning all, I am your host Chad and welcome back to another Bow Specialization production. In this video we will be continuing the How To Holy Priest series by covering glyphs. Now, I won't be covering every glyph that a priest has to offer in this video. Instead, I will ignore any glyph that doesn't properly serve a holy priest in either a PvE or PvP environment. This means glyphs that enhance your damage dealing skills or are specific to another spec like Glyph of Penance. If you are interested in looking up any of the glyphs I conveniently forget to mention, they have a website for that. It's called wowhead.com, and I suggest you start using it because it's the answer to so many elementary questions within the WoW community. So let us waste no more time and let's start talking about Prime Glyphs. Priests have 12 Prime Glyphs, 4 of which are specific to non-holy specs and 2 of which increase the potency of a Shadow Spell. This leaves us with 6 which may potentially be desired by a Holy Priest. These are Glyph of Guardian Spirit, which reduces the cooldown of your Guardian Spirit spell by 30 seconds. Glyph of Renew, which increases the amount healed by your Renew spell by 10%. Glyph of Lightwell, which increases the total number of charges your Lightwell spell has by 5. Glyph of Prayer of Healing, which causes your Prayer of Healing spell to also heal an additional 20% of its initial heal over 6 seconds. Glyph of Flash Heal, which increases the critical effect chance of your Flash Heal spell by 10% on targets below 25% of their maximum health. And lastly, Glyph of Power Word Shield, which causes your Power Word Shield spell to heal the target for 20% of the absorption amount. Of these spells, I see Glyph of Guardian Spirit being an obvious choice, as it improves your 31-point talent spell, Guardian Spirit, which is really quite powerful. And Glyph of Renew is also a great choice, as it increases the throughput of an already powerful heal spell. This also further benefits the holy talent Divine Touch. On the other hand, I believe that Glyph of Power Word Shield should not be taken, as it improves a spell that Holy does not focus on, and this means that the associated heal will be somewhat weak. This leaves three other Prime Glyphs and just one slot to fill. In my opinion, the third choice heavily depends on what you wish to focus on. In PvE, I like Glyph of Lightwell, as often my fellow raiders will consume the Lightwell sparing me the mana and time I would otherwise have to use to heal them. In PvP, I prefer Flash Heal, as critical moments are often turning points, and a strong Flash Heal helps lighten up the critical situations. Finally, Glyph of Prayer of Healing is good for improving your area of effect healing. This will usually shine in a PvE environment. At the end of the day, the third Prime Glyph really comes up down to personal preference, but I prefer Glyph of Lightwell for PvE and Glyph of Flash Heal for PvP. So, on to Major Glyphs. There are 15 Major Glyphs, and only two of them are removed for being useless to a Holy Priest. So, I'll first inform you of the choices, and then make suggestions. If you wish to skip these explanations, I have provided an annotation to tell you where to jump to. Glyph of Circle of Healing allows this spell to heal an additional target. Glyph of Dispel Magic causes your Dispel Magic spell to also heal the target for 3% of their maximum health. Glyph of Divine Accuracy increases your chance to hit with Smite by 18%. This is enough to hit a Raid Boss from 0% hit. Glyph of Fade reduces the cooldown of your Fade spell by 9 seconds. Glyph of Fear Ward reduces the cooldown and duration of Fear Ward by 60 seconds. Glyph of Holy Nova reduces the global cooldown of your Holy Nova spell by half a second. Glyph of Inner Fire increases the armor awarded by your Inner Fire spell by 50%. Glyph of Master Spell reduces the cast time of Master Spell by one second. Glyph of Psychic Scream causes your Psychic Screamed targets to not move while feared, but the cooldown is also increased by three seconds. Glyph of Scourge Imprisonment reduces the cast time of your Shackle Undead spell by one second. Glyph of Smite causes your Smite spell to inflict an additional 20% damage against targets afflicted with Holy Fire. Glyph of Spirit Tap allows you to instantly receive 12% of your total mana over 12 seconds whenever you kill a target with your Shadow Word Death ability that yields honor or experience. And finally, Glyph of Spirit of Redemption increases the duration of your Spirit of Redemption by 6 seconds. Now in PvE, a Holy Priest won't often be dealing damage, so Glyph of Smite and Glyph of Divine Accuracy can be ignored. You also won't get a chance to kill anyone, at least not often, so ignore Glyph of Spirit Tap. You shouldn't need to be casting Psychic Scream often within a dungeon or raid, as crowd control should already be within the group, so there is no need to get Glyph of Psychic Scream. 
On that note, if you are required to cast Shackle Undead on a target, it'll most likely be done during the pull, and for that reason you don't need a reduced cast time on it, so you can ignore Glyph of Scourge Imprisonment. The last one I'm going to suggest that you forget about is Glyph of Inner Fire. As a PvE Holy Priest, you shouldn't be the one getting attacked, and if you are, then you have an ability for that called Fade. From this point forward, you get a reasonable amount of flexibility, and you should choose your major glyphs around what makes you feel most comfortable. If you like the Circle of Healing spell and would like it to be more powerful, glyph it. Personally, one of my favourite choices is Glyph of Dispel Magic. In Cataclysm, health pools are fairly large, with 100 to 150,000 health pools not being uncommon. Whenever you used a Glyphed Dispel on these targets, you will not only remove a couple of bad effects from them, but you will also heal them for around 3,000 to 4,500 health. Not too shabby. Glyph of Spirit of Redemption is nice. Having said that, you don't really wish to die that often. Before picking this glyph, I would ask yourself whether the extra 6 seconds would make that much of a difference. Glyph of Master Spell is fantastic, but remember that the cast time of Master Spell is roughly the same as a global cooldown of a spell. Do you need it to be close to instant cast? I personally don't, but I do like it to be, so I pick it up anyway. Now if you find yourself using Fade a lot, then you might consider glyphing it. You also might consider addressing the problem. Maybe your tank isn't holding aggro well enough, or perhaps you're healing too soon. Glyph of Fear Ward can be useful for fear-intensive fights, but I'll be completely honest, I haven't come across too many of those in this expansion as of yet. You may also find yourself casting Holy Nova a lot as an alternative to Circle of Healing. If you need to cast it faster, then perhaps pick up the associated Glyph. However, I don't actually think it's that useful unless you're in a 25-man raid, and will frequently have enough people near you to make maximum use of it. At the end of the day, the decision is really up to you, but these are my suggestions. Glyph of Circle of Healing, Glyph of Dispel Magic, and Glyph of Mass Dispel. Now in PvP, the decisions are slightly different. You choose glyphs based on whether it will improve your chances of survival or the survival of your allies in combat. Increasing the cooldown of Psychic Scream isn't good, so don't glyph it. There are faster spells than Smite, so I wouldn't be inclined to get that glyph either. On the same note, in PvP you should have a baseline 4% hit, and so the Glyph of Divine Accuracy should be unnecessary. Fade is really quite useless in PvP, and glyphing it is unproductive, so don't. Glyph of Spirit Tap is not that useful, as what's the point of gaining mana back after you've killed the target? There isn't really. Now, Circle of Healing I mentioned in the PvP video, as not being useful and you shouldn't pick it up. If you didn't, then you'll have no need to get this glyph. However, if you did, then perhaps watch my video to see why. Possibly the most important glyphs you can pick up here are the Glyph of Master Spell and Glyph of Inner Fire. Reduced physical damage greatly increases your chances of survival against melee classes and hunters, and a well-timed Master Spell can win battles. This leaves you with five choices and I'll leave this decision entirely optional. Dispel Magic already plays a critical role in some encounters, and so it should come to no surprise that glyphing the spell to offer health returns would indeed be quite powerful. Fear is a spell possessed by priests and warlocks, and is frequently used in PvP. Being able to avoid a fear every two minutes, rather than three, is very nice. Now, I personally don't find myself spamming Holy Nova that often. It burns through mana and hurts tiny little critters all over Azeroth. Also, one Holy Nova is all it takes to get a rogue or druid out of stealth. You don't really need many more. Now being able to get a very, very swift Shackle Undead off on a DK or the DK's pet is very, very nice, but it is limited to that class only, so whether you choose that over Fear Ward, which gives you protection from two classes, is entirely up to you. The final glyph you can get is um, Spirit of Redemption. Now, what I'd like to ask you is, 
Will that extra six seconds make the difference between success and failure? In reality, it probably won't. Having said all that, oh, once again the choice is yours, but here is what I would choose. I would definitely take Glyph of Master Spell, and I would definitely take Glyph of Inner Fire. As for my third Glyph, I would take either Glyph of Fear Ward or Glyph of Dispel Magic. Now the final type of Glyph is Minor Glyphs. These are mostly decorative and don't do much, so I won't really cover them. You can do that in your own time. Might I suggest wowhead.com? Um, but I will suggest, too, that will make your life very easy. Um, Glyph of Levitate removes the reagent cost for Levitate, which is a light feather. These are really, really annoying to farm. You don't want to have to do this, so you should probably take that. The other one that's noteworthy is Glyph of Shadow Fiend, which will allow you to receive 5% of your maximum mana back if your Shadow Fiend dies. So that about sums up the video for Holy Priest Glyphs. Here on the screen are my final suggestions for PvE and PvP. I will leave them up on the screen for a short period of time, and you can use the pause button to look at them properly. As always, I hope you have a good morning. Kind regards, Chad.